Well, I became involved with the Battle Chance back in 1987. A very good friend of mine that I was going to school with, Victor Alexander, um, was a, uh, an alum from uh, the uh, MRC Battle Chance program, and he went to UMass Amherst, and he was the one who introduced me to, to the program and what the program mission and vision um, is and was at the time. Yeah, it's a national program that was founded in 1968, um, and actually we were one of the first houses that uh, started and we're celebrating our 50th year. The mission is to take young men, intelligent young men from underfunded and underserved school communities and bring them up to Amherst so they can go to the Amherst High School, which is considered one of the best uh, public high schools in Massachusetts. Yeah, when I first arrived at the ABC house, I came with my mom and we took the Peter Pan bus up, so someone picked us up in town, I forgot who. And then like everything was going good. We were like talking to new people, she was meeting Wendy, everybody else. And then when Fred was about to leave, she started crying and I was like, don't cry. Knowing that I won't see my mom for a while, because um, I love my mom, so it was pretty interesting to see how I would change over time, considering I wouldn't be back for almost three months. We just started playing basketball, all the boys in the house. Um, there was a couple of boys who weren't really like into athletics and sports, so they were just like chilling on the side. And we just like clicked automatically. So when I came to UMass again, that's first generation, you know, you were just trying to survive, you know, without any type of, of support systems, you know, and there were some support systems at UMass, but not as robust as they are today. These young men who are currently at ABC, they're me. They're me at 14 years old, you know. Um, they're trying to figure out, you know, what the next phase of their life is. Always have lots of conversation at the, at the dinner table as a way of, of keeping those young men engaged. And, and, you know, the conversation could be about politics, could be about sports, could be, you know, what they're learning in school. So there's always some type of a give and take going on. Could be that, you know, we're just getting on each other's case, you know, and having a good time. We usually have dinner all together from like 6 to 6.30, 6.45, and we all just talk about our day have fun at the table, eat food, stuff like that. That was the first day I think I ate at a dinner table with more than five people. And then after we just, uh, just go study in the study center. And I don't know, it just like brings us together closer. Can we just talk about like stuff that isn't really talked about in school? This is definitely the background and the developing hope that I've needed to just keep pushing on, keep doing my work, keep doing academic work, just keep like, keep moving basically perseverance. It's the same type of development that we've given um, our kids that we're trying to give to them. The soft skills, the thank yous, uh, the high hellos, you know, the, the, the way that you text. I've gotten a lot more in touch with the program and with the community itself and like when I go over I go to events or even go into town just to walk around I see at least 10 people that I know. I think it's just cool that you have a nice network here. The Amherst community and the extended Amherst community are the ones that fund, fund the house. It's over $100,000 a year to maintain the house and to give the support to, you know, everyone who lives there. And all that money comes from, from the uh, Amherst and the extended community. We have some amazing donors, you know, some long-term donors, um, some people who are one-time donors, some people who, you know, will donate $10 a year, but everything counts. A major fundraiser is the Walk Run, which most folks in Amherst know as the ABC Walk. And that's the major fundraiser that happens in, in October. We call it the Foliage Walk, where there's some beautiful leaves on the ground. This is uh, Gary Mann, class of uh, 1980, here at the uh, Fall Foliage Walk Run. It's happening, uh, it's live, and we're all gonna have a good time. It's amazing to see them graduate. The ones who graduated last year, once they come back, you can see a change in them. You can see that they're utilizing some of the tools, some of the information that they've gotten into in, in the house, and they're putting it into practice. Um, as far as what the ABC program has done for me, in every single conversation with a new institution that I have, or at the end of um, our time with the institution, and I have to do this grandiose presentation, a lot of people start with their college experience, and I say for me, my experience started back in the ABC program when they took a young African-American man from the South Bronx in New York City and brought him to Amherst, Massachusetts, where I was 
provided the support I needed, that I was tr provided the skills I needed to learn, and I was provided the community that I needed in order to actually be successful. And because without that, this trajectory would never have existed. I never would have gone to Vassar. I never would have gone to uh, get my master's. I never would want to get a PhD. And there are so many things here that are supportive, and there are programs like the ABC House that are crucial and necessary to ensure the success of so many folks who don't have those experiences growing up and living inside cities. Yes, school systems are sometimes getting greater, but with the current political climate and the way that um, the public school system is just being, in my opinion, destroyed and being attacked, it, it is m so much more important that the work that folks are doing in places like the ABC House and ABC program nationally, that they keep it up, they keep supporting it, that they keep uh, moving it forward.